Oh, look at this. Aren't the colors nice and what they've done with the wood? It's just so warm and cheery. Yeah, isn't it? I'm gonna go for your type of kitchen, Grandma. Filled with love, good food, warm, comforting. Oh, well, that's the company. No, it's the good food. <laughs> <laughs> now, Allie, this, this setter counter type thing, I mean, isn't that going to be terribly expensive? Yeah, it is, but it's going to help the resale value, Grandma. Gosh, all of this just seems to be costing a bundle. I don't know how you... I mean, Casey must be doing really well. He is, since he's got his job back. He's doing great. What do you mean? He lost his job? It was this big misunderstanding between him and Jeremy, but everything is fine. He's working tons. As a matter of fact, he's on a photo shoot right now. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of tricky without his camera, isn't it? Does your insurance pay for psychotherapy? Yeah, uh, okay. I hope. <laughs> then fill this out, and the doctor will sign it after your session. Okay. All right, thanks. Dr. Brockman will be with you in a few minutes. Dale up, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to be invited on a picnic. Well, I noticed that you seem to like fresh air. Well, under certain circumstances. Mm, like Belden Pond the other night? You were so sweet. I just wanted to make lunch and thank you. You did enjoy yourself, right? Oh, God. You're sorry. You're sorry, aren't you? No, it's just, you know... A special occasion like that, you know, that uh, something happens like that, I'm, I'm usually sent roses. You know, sometimes daisies. <laughs> You're a rat. Ah, no, I don't want a Rachel. I don't want a Rachel. <laughs> Hi, Dale. 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 I still don't understand. You're afraid of Jeremy? Why? I, I remember Jeremy. You're afraid of Jeremy because you remember him? I, I don't understand that. No. It doesn't make sense. I remember Jeremy different. This, this, this Jeremy scares me. His, his eyes. You, you saw it too? I'm sorry. I know you don't want me. Here. That's right. I don't. I don't mean to intrude, and I know you don't want me near Diana Lee, but I, I just came by to see if she needs anything. Don't I don't leave. think she even wants to see you, Curtis. All right, fine. I'll leave. But before I do, I, I need to know what she was saying you about know you. No, you don't. Diana Lee, you said that Jeremy scared you. Hey, Why? can't you hear me? I told you to leave Diana Lee alone. Diana Lee, sweetheart, just go inside the house, okay? I can handle this. You use every excuse in the world to try to see I just him. need to know what she was saying about Jeremy. Hey, That's all. hey! Donnelly's has been on the brink of losing everything. You come around here asking stupid questions about Jeremy it's now? It's not some kind of ploy if that's what you I think. don't really care what it is, okay? Except that you're bothering her. I care about that. She's been through enough. Look, it is one little question. That's all I want to ask. I don't know what's wrong with you now, Curtis, or, or why you're hung up on Jeremy now, but you're not going to bother Donnelly Look, again. it is one that? question. Let me ask the question. I said, get out of here, here now, okay? And don't come back here. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. But listen, sweetheart, I know Curtis isn't your problem. I know that. Who? Not who. It's not it's not Curtis. It's not Jeremy that you're scared of. It's something else. I know what it is. Hey, cowgirl. What's wrong? Why'd you say you hate Uncle Buck? I waited and I waited, but you forgot, didn't you? What? What'd I forget? You didn't bring me a present. You didn't stop by and have some cake or nothing. Oh, honey, your birthday. I'm sorry. Let's go. Sweetheart, when was your birthday? Two days ago, if you care. Come on, let's go forget him. He said he loved me.
guys, it's time to have some lunch. Mrs. Pearl, can you... If we don't get in line, we'll wait forever now. Come along, children, let's go. I was trying to talk to I you. said go! Oh. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, no problem. It's okay. No, we were taking a walk through the park, and she got away. She saw you, and I, I couldn't oh, stop her. I know, she was pretty upset. JJ, too. Well, they're too young to understand what's going on here. I know. We used to be pals. That was then. This is now. I just don't want them thinking I'm some kind of jerk, you know. You just let it go, okay? Stacy, if I could just talk to them. No, don't talk to them. Just leave them alone. You've done enough already. Stacy, if I could just explain Look, to them. They're what... not your kids. They're mine, okay? I'll handle this. <laughs> I mean, I guess a photographer getting his camera is kind of like a cabbie for getting his taxi, isn't it? Allie. Is everything all right? Uh, sure. I mean, he's going to be back any minute to get his camera. No, I mean, is Casey all right? Yes, of course, he's fine. Well, I mean, you said he lost his job. But I also thought it was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty big misunderstanding, isn't it? Well, the lab messed up some pictures of his, and he missed a deadline. So. You mean the lab made a mistake and Jeremy fired Casey? And he unfired him. Like I said, it was not a big deal. Well, I'm sure it was stressful for him. Yes, it was stressful. It was mm -hmm. very stressful. I've been talking about how much pressure Casey's been under. I'm sure it was hard for him. And I had to go and make things worse. Oh, now, how? I took your advice and I suggested that he see a therapist. And Casey didn't buy it? No. Casey is very sensitive to that kind of help. And it's because of his dad. Oh, of course it is. I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me have a little heart to heart No, with you him? cannot tell him that I told you anything. Well, Allie, I just say that I knew you were concerned. Well, you were the one that told me. When two people get married, there are some things that they have to handle themselves. Well, there are some things that maybe you can't handle yourselves. And then you gotta cry uncle. And you are one of the best listeners, aren't you? Okay, the doctor will see you now. Hi. Hello, I'm Dr. Bruckman. Um, yeah, hi, Casey Bowman. Yes. You're related to, uh, to Gift Bowman. It's okay, honey. I understand what you're afraid of. And mm -hmm. it's all right to be afraid. No, I... I... Yeah, you've got a, a, a big job, one that you didn't ask for. I, I, I want to, 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 to get, get well. I know you do. I know you do, but you've got all these different people to react to, and you've got different, different situations that, uh, that you're responding differently towards, and sometimes you remember things, sometimes you blank out. You don't think you're going to make it. But, uh, Jeremy... I know, I know, sweetheart. That's what I, that's what I want to say about that, too. Jeremy is challenging you now, and you're afraid. But, but because... no, the, but the way he, he, he looks... At me. I, I don't. I don't know how he looks at you, honey. I, I'm sure it's just he's trying to get you to react. Though you see, I mean, this is the, maybe what art therapy is about. React, honey. You don't think you're gonna get better, do you? Maybe I won't. Dinah Lee, you are gonna get better. Do you hear me? <laughs> But will, will I be me? Of course you will. Maybe the woman you fell in love with is gone. I don't want to hear you talk like that. It, it's not fair to you. You should, you should just, you should, you should do it. What? Put me away in a what? hospital or, or... Listen, honey, what are you talking about? You, will you just relax? You're just so down on yourself right now because everything is hard for you. You are going to get better. What if I don't? You will. You will, I promise you. I can see it. You can. I can. We're going to be very, very happy. We're going to have a great life. Tell me. You see that door over there? One day, very, very soon, sweetheart. You and Christopher. Hi. Hello. Did we ever?
have a good time. Yeah? What'd you do? Everything. We went to, and we played soccer, and we went to the botanical gardens, and we went to the space exhibit at the museum, and then we visited the polar bears. Oh, you went to the zoo? Yes, and we saw monkeys, too. And then oh. we ran, and we caught that little train that goes around the park. Twice we rode it, then we had popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, you must be tired, too, then. Sounds like you had, like, two days worth of fun stuff. It was fun. All right, why don't you come over here, give your daddy a hug, and go upstairs and go to bed, all right? Okay. Want to get ready for bed? Don't forget to wash your face. Yeah. And, and brush, brush your teeth. teeth. <laughs> hey, you tired? No, I feel like hiking. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, then it's, it's, it's Enchanted Mountain for us, then. How about tomorrow morning? Yeah, I have my hiking boots. go up into the mountains and go hiking and go camping and sit sure. by the fire. Sure, sleeping bag. This is going to be great. It's already great. That's a pretty good dream, isn't it? Thanks for being concerned, okay? But JJ and Heather are my business. I'll handle the problems. I never meant to be one of them. I'm sorry. Mm. Was that a big mistake or what? What, breaking up with Tracy? No, getting too close to JJ and Heather. But what were you supposed to do? Not get involved with them. I wasn't thinking. You were thinking what? And Stacy and I went for the long haul. Maybe I just wasn't thinking at all. How are you supposed to know what a relationship is going to be in the beginning? It's a one day at a time kind of thing. I isn't know, it? but I got the kids' hopes up. I shouldn't have done that. You know, Buck, there's no doubt about it. It's really rough on the kids. But it's been really rough on you, too, hasn't it? First time in my life I felt like I belonged somewhere. As part of a family. Well, I can understand why you wouldn't want to give up that family. Yeah. I miss it. Uh, Giff Bowman was my father, yeah. Um, but I, I didn't come here to talk about him. I came here to talk about me. Oh, so. good. Good. I, I, um, I don't know how to do this. Do I just start talking? Oh, I'm do sorry. Ask questions? Oh, please, sir. Have a seat. Why don't you tell me why you come, and then we'll just take it from there. Hmm? Yeah. Um, okay. Great. Well, I, I guess I've just, um, lately I've, I've been kind of stressed out. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, just too much going on in my, in my life. I, I guess, um, you know, work, and I have a new house, um, my wife, her child, and lots of bills, mm -hmm. and lots of decisions to make. How about sleeping? How are you sleeping? <laughs> See, I'm usually really good at juggling things, but lately, it's like I've got all these things juggling. I'm trying to keep up in the air at the same time, and, um... How's your diet? I mean, I eat. <laughs> See, I, I guess I just thought that, you know, if I talked to someone who could, well, maybe you could give me some pointers on how to juggle things, then could my, you my tell life me could get... just a little bit more about your background, hmm? uh, What, you mean like where I'm from? No, I was thinking more about the rest of your family, your family history. Why? Well, the more I know, the more effective I can be in helping you. For example, if you would be willing to fill out some of the blanks on this form. Oh, those. Yeah, well, I, I just thought that, they, you know, it was family junk. It didn't really make any difference. So, right. Look, Casey, I read about your father in the newspapers. 
I understand that he was diagnosed as manic depressive. Now, have you ever had any episodes? It doesn't matter, right? Right. We can go back to it later. Okay. What are you doing? Excuse me. What? Manic depressive father. Uh, those are just notes. No, I, I think it looks like a diagnosis to me. What do you think that? Because my father was sick, that you're assuming that I that I am too? No, Casey, calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. I just, I'm not sick. Okay. Thank you very much. Forget it. Yeah, it's only a dream, but it's gonna come true. Trucker, how, how can you know that? Because I I know you, inside and out. Trucker. And every day I know you, you just get more beautiful. No. And I love you more and more. You can't. Oh, I do. I do. Every bit of me does. You're so hopeful. <laughs> That's because I know that you're, you're just going to get better and you're going to get stronger. And before long, you'll be completely back to your, to your old self. I know that. I wish. You will be. Hey, you remember this? Remember this? Yes. I gave it to you in the hospital, and you told me to bring it home for you, and to give it to you once you got back here. While well, you're here now. Have this straight? Yeah, Buck's a creep. Why? Because things didn't work out between him and me? Didn't work out. He left us. He left me. Sometimes relationships just don't work out the way we want them. That doesn't mean that the other person is wrong or a creep. Anyone who would leave you that is a creep. JJ. Buck didn't leave me for someone else. He just left. You mustn't be angry. Hey, Mom, you know, I can be angry. If he thinks blind, he's better than you. He has to be a good brain. I'm making all the wrong moves. I used to be sharper. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all make mistakes. Maybe it's corn. Why do you say that? I've been here longer than I've been anywhere else. I don't know, maybe it's thrown me off my mark. Ah, a rolling stone. I used to be. It felt good. Maybe that's what I need. A few days away from this place. It's me, isn't it? I moved too fast. That's my problem. I can't believe it. We should have just stayed friends. Yes. Hey, relax. Mm. I, I like where we are. You do? Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's comfortable. Yeah, but... Now you're going to go away, and you're going to start thinking, and you're going to get scared. Scared? And... Scared of what? I don't know. Whatever the things are that men get scared of. No, it's, it's nothing like that, really. That's what they all say. Tess, I'm just, I'm going to go up to truckers for a few days. You know, that, that, that's all. Just get away. Go to the cabin. Okay. Okay, nothing. Listen, if you weren't so busy with work, I'd ask you to come with me. Really? Absolutely. But, you know, I, I know you're busy at the agency, and, you know, they I need you there. I have to take a couple of days off. You can. Sure. Great. Yeah. Well, he sounds as sweet stuck as a bug in a rug. Did you reach Casey? No, I try calling the agency, but they're obviously not hooked up to the location, so... Hmm, that's odd, isn't it? Not really. Oh, Sorry. hi! Yes. You know what? I knew it. I just knew you were going to come back for this. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the camera. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Glad you remembered your taxi. <laughs> Don't worry, you had to be there. <laughs> nice to see you, but I'm on my way out. Oh, okay. okay. Let me walk you Bye. Okay. See you later. Thank you yes. so much for coming back. Okay. Bye, Kate. Bye. Bye. Hmm? Where were you? 
I just had to run some errands. What kind of errands? Errand, errands. What, oh, some white? I'm so suspicious. I'm not. I know you'd never keep anything from me. You love me too much. So what do you want to see me for? Information. What kind? I've got a friend who's in the hospital. What would I have to do to get a look at his medical records? What do you want to do that for? Well, like I said, I'm his friend. I'm, I'm just kind of curious. How curious? <laughs> Pretty darn curious. Name? Jeremy Hunter. 